everybody! Creator of Battle of Deception, Sun Joshua Crew here! And welcome to Battle of Deception update number two! First off, I just want to go ahead and start off with two big thank yous. The first being that Battle of Deception's teaser trailer that I uploaded a year ago has reached over 1,400 plus views thanks to all your viewing and all your sharing. Thank you so much. That means so much to everybody who worked on this project. The second thing that I'd like to give thanks to is everyone who stayed up super early to come to our Battle of Deception panel at ASIN 2015. It was a unique experience and we hope you guys all come back next year to join us in for even more fun. Basically, Battle Deception's progress has been something I would call a slowly but surely progressing method, if that makes sense. You see, certain visual effects like this one require no time at all, whereas other visual effects like this one require a lot of time. I'm talking about a month time, as that's how long it pretty much took me to go ahead and edit this, mainly due to the rollerscoping effect. For those of you who are not familiar with it, rollerscoping is basically where you're editing something or masking it out frame by frame, so you can imagine just how long that's taking. Needless to say, I'm working real hard on all the visual effects and I will continue to work as hard as I have to to make sure that they all get done. There are a lot of visuals in this film, so that's the reason why it's going to be taking quite a while. With that said, afterwards, still have the sound mixing to do, still have to find sound effects, certain music that's going to fit, and find information for the credits, so yes, a lot to be done. So as I said, a slowly but surely moving process. So as much as I would love to get Battle of Deception out by sometime here in 2015, the truth is I probably got about a year's worth of more editing to do just because of these visual effects alone. So right now I'm going to say I'm striving for an early 2016 release. And since we've been working on this project since 2012, I've kind of learned to expect that things will take longer than expected. But like I said, I will see this project through until the end. So I'd like to go ahead and apologize for the lack of content since releasing the first update. I'm the type of person that when I start a project, I want to make sure that I finish it and just keep on working on it until it's done. But as a result, since I spent so much time editing the visual effects over the last several months, I didn't think to go ahead and stop working on Battle Reception so that I can edit some more content for this channel and then go back to Battle Reception. Especially with there being a year's worth of more editing left to done, it's kind of why I just want to go ahead and finish it. And I am the only editor for Battle Reception, so that's kind of been the struggle there. But after having a talk with Joey Blonde with Two, my former YouTube partner, she definitely is right. I have to go ahead and release something. I can't go months of just editing on BOD and then just leaving my content blank until the next update video. It is a struggle with the limited resources that I have and like I said with a year's worth of more editing I do want to make sure that Battle Reception is my main priority. That doesn't mean however I'm not going to try as I will go ahead and take the video footage that we have from the behind the scenes interview and the video footage that I have edited together so far from my year plus of editing on BOD and start releasing short little videos of the interviews. These will of course be put together eventually in a much more longer video for the whole entire behind the scenes. This way you guys are at least getting some sort of content for my YouTube channel as well as getting to know some of the cast and crew behind the scenes as well and after all something is better than nothing. Also, I want to let you guys know that I am currently working with my crew to create a new film as well that we're hoping to start shooting around 2016. So as you can see in my free time, I'm quite very, very busy. And so this wraps up the second update for Battle of Deception. I hope you guys all enjoyed that and now have a little understanding exactly how much work is going into Battle of Deception and why it's taking as long as it is. As for any of you guys who are new as always, make sure to go ahead and click this box right here that I'm in where you can go ahead and subscribe to me because after all this is where Battle Deception will be uploaded and I got everyone else here who has contributed to Battle Deception so make sure you check out their links out as well and everything in terms of links will be here in the video description below and as always make sure to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter as that's where you can also get more updates I'm always releasing things about what I'm doing with Battle Deception in terms of where I'm at maybe a certain visual effect get a little more previews of the film itself with that said I hope blessings and prosperity follow you all this has been the creator of Battle of Deception, Son Goshiraku saying, take care.